But before we even get into that, we're about to have the author versus Farrar the Vark. Farrar the Vark. All right, it's going to be a fun match to commentate. Let's go. Now, fun fact, the author's uh, tag is because his name is Stephen King. Oh, it really is? Yeah, his real name is Stephen King, so he calls himself the author. Does he actually write, though? That's the question. He dances salsa. All right, so he writes on the dance floor, it seems. Yes, well, yes. All right, all right, respectable. Now, the author doing a pretty good job here against Frard... Frar oh, man. Frard... <laughs> Frardvark. Frardvark. All right, cool. We'll dig it. Messing up my flow a little bit, you know, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to get used to it. Oh, wow. Great Catch smash. Absolutely. Catch it a mistake. Oh. And wow. He tried to phantasm back on stage, and it did not work at all. That was just too funny how Frodbark actually just kept it going and even shook his head in disbelief like, <laughs> you fell right into my trap. <laughs> <laughs> the Man. Laugh. See a lot of high laces right now from the author. Doesn't really get much damage off of that combo. Though. Ooh, great F smash, though. Very meaty. Ooh, I, I like what he was going for there. And, you know, it's a really smart setup because if you go for the Light Shield Edge Guard and the Marth is already, like, on level, um, you know, with you as uh -huh. they're jumping on stage, sometimes they might just, like, air dodge on stage or something like that. And, and when that happens, punish. yeah, you can just drop out a shield and attack. Yep. So, pretty good option coverage. Oh, I'm safe moves here, neutral. All right, Frodvark going for a dash attack. Probably trying to sniff out a short hop laser to get underneath. Oh, nice. Ooh, that a was a great F smash. Yeah, so just a tad too close, possibly, to send him in the other direction. But we have a two stock lead. The author definitely trying to camp out platforms during that invincibility. Smart. All right, just getting him some aerials out of that shield. Ooh. Yeah, Fredwark definitely having a tough time dealing with the rushdown and lasers. Oh, and F tilt could seal it, Marth Killer. Yep. And that is it. Wait one second. So, discussing stage bans right now. And we're going to FOD. That was so quick. No time wasted. Straight to That's how we like it, though. <laughs> There weren't even any hand warmers at the beginning of the set, too. But as you can see from Fraud Frog, I don't. Uh, there aren't too many grabs coming out, you know? And grabs can lead to a little big damage, especially from Marth. You know, he has the down throw for Tech Chase. grab has so much range. Like, why wouldn't you at least attempt? Of course. And, you know, the up throw for, like, you know, combos and chain, chain grabs. Chain grabs, yeah, yeah for but sure. We don't see any of that. He's going for a lot of down tilt, forward smashes, and even. Dash attacks. Yeah, just grounded normals in general. Or the. Uh, yeah, see? Right there. Yeah, he's not handling the laser pressure at all, either. Okay, well, there's an aerial right there. Okay. Nice forward throw right there by Fred. Oh, the author, actually. Ooh, good grab. So should be able to get it. Yep, good ledge grab. Good for call. Sure. Ooh. The author's movement is definitely better than it was last game. Definitely. I like the platform movement. Def I would like to see Fraudwork be a little more proactive in chasing uh, the author, though, when he goes to the platforms. A lot of players, especially space animals, you know, they'll try to use their jumps to move around the platforms to evade Mark, you know? And you can bait that out so that they have to, like, try to escape and possibly lose their second jump. Exactly. Nice Oof, neutral. That nair, though. Catching him midair. And the light shield edge guard. Great Oof. Mark killer. Yep, you can see. Oh, there's the grab. Uh-oh. Ooh, no punish, though. Oh, you see that? Even whiffing a grab. You can tell that right now Fraudvark is indeed thinking about trying to land grabs. It's in his head. But will he be able to actually land them? Okay, he makes it back on stage. All right. So we got one. Yep, one stock. Are we going to get another? Well, one the more for the author. One more, yeah. <laughs> Tika and I were saying, we're like, just, just get one at this point. Just get one. It's the theme of the, the pool sessions. Oh, nice. I really love the pressure from uh, the author right here. Good stuff. He's catching Fredwark as he misses, misses these techs. 
That's another dare, yes. Good job right there All by right. the author. And now another thing to note about that match, since Freidvark wasn't grabbing as much, there were a lot of times, if you notice, um, the author was just sitting in the shield a lot, mm -hmm. you know, against people that tend to overextend and just toss out aerials, especially when you're within a range where it's probably, you know, if they land a hit, it would be favorable for them because they're Marthmain and, you know, they might land right. that tipper. You could just block it, wave that shot of shield, and keep punishing accordingly. Shield so, grab even. Yeah. So, yeah, right there. Uh -huh. I didn't even note that, dude. That was really good of him to use the shield that way. Yeah, he was just blocking the uh, for the most part because Fredrick didn't give him a reason to try to evade grabs. But anyway, good on the author, 2-0 victory, and we're going to move on to the next match. Ooh, we got Colin on point. Nice. Call ball from Smash Studios is in the building, and he's going to be versus, uh, who would that be, uh, Zero? I'm not sure, but he's wearing a Game & Watch jacket. All right. So he might be a Game & Watch main. Wait a second. Okay, I thought we were about no, to see Ice Climbers. Colin, yeah, Colin's player one, so we weren't going to see Ice Climbers there. All right. But yeah, if we see Game & Watch, this probably might bring a smile to Gimmer's face. I know he's a big fan of the character. I don't know if he actually likes the games or if he's just a fan of landing nines. And we do have Game & Watch here. Let's All go. Right. I will say this. I've been thrown off a couple of times by colors today. Uh -huh. Like, Lucky was playing Blue Fox and normally plays Red Fox. And Colin usually plays green or neutral. And he's playing red. Dude, I even saw Leffen in a Fox Ditto playing Red Fox against someone else, and that threw me off. But the moment I saw the punish game, I was like, that has to be Leffen. Like, you can tell. These players, man. Yeah. They don't want to give us a chance to just know what's going on. <laughs> After, you know what? After, like, commentating or even viewing streams quite a bit, you can tell from the play style oh, which yeah, players sure. which, you know? But it definitely comes with uh, experience, you know? Oh, wait. Are they going to go both Game Watch to see who gets the. No, no one's going to try to get, go for the better port. Mewtwo King is not on the... <laughs> he's not on stage.